Hello, hello everyone. Today I'm going to be going over everything you need to know about the new and actually biggest update in all of Bloxroot's history, update 17.3. First off, we have what the admins themselves told us that we're going to get an update 17.3, which they showed on the Discord, and I will show y'all what they say right now. Okay, so as you can see on this list, we have Cake Prince, True Form, Final Battle, Race Awakenings, which is going to be, I think, like, transformations, like Venom and stuff like that. Dull Awakening, which is confirmed. Superhuman V2, which I'm thrilled about. And then we just have a new gun, sword, and fruit. Out of that whole list, the only things we really actually have videos of leaks on is Doe Awakening and the new sword, which we just got a picture on a couple days ago. So let's start off with Doe Awakening and go over all the new moves it's gonna have and all the leaks that we've gotten. Okay, so first move we have is Flowing Mochi. This is most likely going to be a stun move. As we can see here in the anime, Katakuri touches the ground, turning into Mochi, and freezing and stunning Luffy, which is pretty much going to make it a stun move. Alright, so next up we have Mirror Mochi or Rainfall Mochi. Mirror Mochi, it shoots droplets from the roof that kind of stomps on Luffy, which is most likely going to be another stun move since it just stacks on top of him and he's just stuck there. On the other hand, we have Rainfall Mochi, which is a little bit of the opposite. Instead of coming from the roof, it comes from the ground and shoots up. Kind of not really stunning Luffy, not a stun move like the other ones, but just a straight up attack. So next up, we have Unstoppable Donuts or Power Mochi. So this is just a straight direct attack when Katakuri creates these little circle dimensions and they have a fist and it just straight up punches Luffy. Not a stun or anything, just straight up attack, be combo finisher, anything like that. And last but not least, we have Sticky Mochi or Bird Lime Mochi. I think this move is most definitely going to be a combo starter and replace Sticky Mochi. It pretty much looks the same, but just a better version. Okay, now let's get on to what I think the second biggest part of the update is, which is animation revamps. In this update, not only are we going to get animation revamps for attacks, but we're also getting a revamp for the ocean and all, or maybe not all, but most block shirts. First off, we have Light Sea revamp on Unawakened Light. Then we have Dragon Sea revamp, which I think looks significantly better. Then we have item slot revamp. It just glows a little bit when you touch it in a different color now. Then we have added waves to the sea, which I think is going to be a lot better instead of just traveling by boats and it gets boring. Here's new inventory, which I think looks sick. Animation revamp. So when you dash side to side, it's not going to be you dashing forward every time. You can actually dash different directions. Here's kilo fruit model from the left one's old, right one's new. Ice fruit, right one's the old, left one's the new bottle. Buddha fruit, which left one's the old, right one's the new model, a whole lot bigger too. Quake fruit remodel, which I think looks sick. That is amazing. Like finding that is gonna look a lot better than just running into the old one. Magma, a lot more detail, another angle of it, which I just think these are amazing. Like the little details really do change. And then last but not least, we have soul fruit model. Now as we're coming closer to the end, all we have is the new sword coming next update, which is confirmed to be the hardest puzzle, and it's going to be the hardest sword to get, and what might just be the craziest awakening of all fruits. Okay, so first off, this new sword is called Cursed Dual Katana, and it is mythical. And in this picture is showing the X move, which is the second attack, and it is called Slayer of Goliath. Rip and Dress showing here that is unlocked by the hardest puzzle yet, but my own personal predictions is that you are for sure going to need Tushida and Enma, so if you don't have those two yet, I suggest you get on it. Okay, and last but not least, this is what I was talking about by when I said the craziest awakening in all of Block's Roots, which would be rubber. Now, none of these are confirmed, but they are heavily rumored. 
I personally think that gravity might get an awakening, rubber is very highly going to get an awakening, and if I had to guess one more, I would say control might get an awakening. That is absolutely everything you need to know about the upcoming and biggest update 17.3 in blocks roots and last but not least just know the update will be coming out in less than a few weeks here is an admin saying that it will be dropping in a few weeks more than a week ago so you ready for that if you enjoyed please do like sub i normally post pvp videos if you're new here and i'm going to be daily uploading or maybe like a few times a week at least a few times a week since i'm now in the youtube partnership so if y'all are new here and you enjoyed may as well drop a like but i'll see y'all later